Thanks. All right. Hey, everybody. To do who love sports. We're back. Got some good stuff to talk about today. Uh, Wes, you want to bring up the good news? Um, about the Giants, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We clinch uh, the playoffs, and this is um almost not a record, but um this is the fastest we clinched it in uh a very long time, or maybe it is the earliest we ever clinched um ever, ever clinched a playoff berth ever. Giants in all the years. Like the earliest month, right? Earliest month. September 13th is the earliest we've ever clinched a playoff berth. And uh, that includes seasons where we won 100 games, Barry Bonds years. 80s uh, years with Will Will Clark Clark and the rest of them. Robbie Thompson years. I don't know. if Yeah, that's big. Jose Uribe years. (laughs) Jose (laughs) Uribe. Yeah, so. Shout out to the and, um, Gigantes. And we kicked Clinching. the Padres' ass today. Yeah, yeah. What was it, 9-1 to one or some nine shit? 9-1. to one. Okay, let me give you some. Uh, we hit four home runs. La Stella mm-hmm. had a home run. Longoria. Yeah, Strinsky. I always say his name wrong. And Brandon Belt. Uh, mm-hmm. That's four home runs. That's pretty big. Mm. No, um, we beat a good uh, Padres team. I think Dodgers won also, so we're still two and a half behind, unless uh, they lost. But I think they Tommy, won. Tommy Listella. Tommy Listella. <laughs> cool name, huh? <laughs> so, um, so that's great news for uh, Giants fans. Um, cool, like record-breaking um, history for the earliest we ever done it in a in a season. I wonder what the record is for most wins by Giants in a season. I would like to look that up, too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's got to be 100 and something, like 103 or something. That's what I'm thinking, too. We're probably on pace to break it, to be honest. We don't have to look it up now, though. Yeah, we got 90-something, and we got 18. I think we've got 91 wins. What's the San Francisco Giants record? <laughs> Technology. 94 and 50, and we got 18 games left. So <laughs> we could win like 105, Ooh. maybe more. Ooh, pretty good. Um, so that's good news. We play Padres again tomorrow. Um uh other want to switch uh other news topics? Yeah, yeah. Um Sherman. Uh oh. I heard about Sh- Niners might um, sign Sherman again. He's only 33, and uh, I think one of our corners got injured pretty bad, so we need an extra corner, cornerback. Yeah, and I that. like it uh, for championship experience and toughness and leadership, too. So Yeah, Sherman, uh, he's a great leader, uh, veteran, cornerback, Hall of Famer, of course. Definitely one of the best. Uh, even though I didn't like him on Seattle, but you know, he I liked him on the Niners. So that's how sports works, you know. They've talked, they've talked. Niner, uh, Shanahan says Niners have talked to Sherman. So they're yeah. in contact. Uh yeah, man, I'll take him. I mean, he'd start, he'd start right away. Yeah, he'd, and he'd he like would veteran leader. People are leader. bitching already on like uh why, why? NFL. The NFL Facebook pages, they're just a bunch of haters, not real fans. Wow. He made that one mistake on that tackle that one year, blah, blah, blah. Like, shut the fuck up, for real. You hater Niners fans, get the hell out of here. You know, be a real fan. Most of them aren't even local. No. Actually, I want to invite the uh, the administrator to, from the Facebook 49ers, uh, uh, 49ers fan uh, thing on Facebook. Vitamin He's a himself. hater, but he knows his shit. He's a hater, but he knows his shit. Yeah, I think he would do it. Invite him. He does a, He kind of does things like us too, like this, like kind of small podcast sports. So he would do it. Yeah. And um, other news, funny news. Uh, Connor McGregor tries to <laughs> beat up uh, Machine Gun Kelly at the VMA <laughs> Awards. <laughs> what? 
why? You know why? Talk? What? No, why? I I read a, I read something. I don't know if it's true, but it said because um because McGregor says he he dresses like a real housewife from the show, and <laughs> the music is like for pansies or something like that. Mm. That's what he said. That's what, just a rumor. What he said, I think. He's got a point. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that was pretty funny. Oh, but it was. Great. Did you see the? Uh, you're going to send the links, right, Damien, for these? Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. So it. remember, everybody, we send the links if you want to like proofread it or whatever. Links in the descriptions, right? Okay, and also, um, I got uh pretty cool news. Um. Rick Kamla from yesterday, I mentioned him. Uh, I asked him if he wanted to be on the show and he left a interesting message to me back, a voicemail to my phone. So we're going to listen to it, okay? We're going to listen to what Rick Kamla had to say, okay? You're asking me, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, well, to everybody out there. I, I just did a first grade class, guys. I just finished teaching online, so I still kind of talk like that sometimes. But yeah, I'm going to play it right now. Um, hopefully you can hear. I'm going to put his face too on it. All right, let's listen. You know, to, doing all that would be like trying to restrict the camera, man. And you know, when fucking the camera just comes out, he's a fucking beast, dude. And he can't be restrained. He can't be held back. He's a fucking, he's a fucking monstrosity, dude. He's just so beastly. So I can't be fucking, I can't be detained. And uh, I just know it's just going to fucking come out. You know what I mean? It's going to fucking do it, dude. And so I, I just want to avoid all that, you know? So I'm Rick Kamala, and I respectfully decline your offer. Sorry, dude. So did you, did you hear it or no? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. So I left uh, a voicemail for Rick Kamala. I mean, a message, and that's the voicemail he left me. Um, let's listen to it one more time. So, everybody, this is the voicemail Rick Camel left me, okay? Let's listen. You know, if doing all that would be like trying to restrict the camera, man. And, you know, when fucking the camera just comes out, he's a fucking beast, dude. And he can't be restrained. He can't be held back. He's a fucking, he's a fucking monstrosity, dude. He's just so beastly. <laughs> So I can't be fucking, I can't be detained. And uh, I just know it's just going to fucking come out. You know what I mean? It's going to fucking do it, dude. And so I, I just want to avoid all that, you know? So I'm Rick Kamala, and I respectfully decline your offer. Okay. Sorry, okay. Uh, thank you, Rick Kamala. He respectfully declined, but at least he uh, gave me um, uh, a voicemail back. So that's kind of cool. You know, if he always leaves voicemails like that, maybe we should have his voicemails on the phone more, I'm thinking. <laughs> He's a pretty big name for basketball fans, for analysts. So what do you think of his uh, his uh, message to me inviting him, Damien? <laughs> Speechless? Uh, Speechless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess he he was ranting about something about how he's uh, doesn't want to be restrained or maybe because it's too politically correct these days. That's what I'm thinking. And and he respectful he respectfully declined. So so that's oh good. oh wow. Well, <laughs> so at least he answered. That's too bad. I guess. But at least he answered. At least he didn't like say like. At least he didn't just ignore it. You know. Yeah. Yeah, at least he didn't just ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> so I told you I would have juicy, um, a little juicy segment today. Uh, oh, if was, he answered and juicy. he did. That was juicy, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a big name. We're trying to get any name, uh, even from local Vietnamese guys, you know, guys like him, Pamela. So Pamela we'll try to get. Um, like local Vietnamese guy, I'm saying we're gonna to try to get any um, any uh, guest on. Like not other just any guest. I mean, come on, we gotta stand. I mean, we're not just getting anybody. Come on, we got like. No, I mean uh, from different countries and shit that know basketball, that know sports. Yeah. You know, but I'm the, saying not all of them are gonna be famous. It could be like. Is that? You know. 
have you have the you guy working, my neighbor or something <laughs> been working hard on that oh your neighbor you got your neighbor coming on maybe <laughs> <laughs> you got some giants fans in here check out my generic uh sf hat this is like as generic as it gets yeah it's, it's like uh, fisherman's uh, war. really linty too uh yeah unfortunately i don't have a lot of uh giant uh san francisco gear yeah here in Vietnam. it's all at home yeah but that's all right so um tomorrow we have more giants probably more news um i heard uh trey sermon might be coming back uh this weekend so we'll see about that good um, good yeah, well that'd be nice i'd like to see him he's a rookie yeah. too huh is he a rookie yeah, yeah, Trey Sermon's a rookie. He was our uh, first uh, running back pick. Mm -hmm. I want to see more Trey Lance, too. Uh, you see the Raiders game? Mm, yes, uh, a little bit. I saw, like, it went into overtime. I know that. They they had a trick play with their quarterback, their young guy. Uh, what's their young guy? I'm not sure. Did they win? Yeah, they beat the Ravens in OT. Because... Because the Raiders QB threw a quarter, uh, 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 interception in the um, in the, at the one yard line or like the five yeah. yard line. Yeah. And that's what I had. To, that's when I had class, so I had to turn it off. Well, um, um, their other quarterback, not not Carr, uh, not Derek Carr, quarter. He's the young guy. I think he's – anyway, they did like a, a running play. They put him mm -hmm. in, and he, he broke like a 50-yard run. Right. We'll see the Niners do Ooh. that. Oh, gosh. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but did you see the uh, the, pack, the Green Bay Packers? They lost 41-3 no. to three or something like that. God damn. It was so Aaron Rodgers' biggest defeat in his – I think his, his uh, history – they got their ass kicked to um, New Orleans Saints, I believe. But right, got, right. They got and the their, Saints. And, uh, James Winston, uh, five touchdowns. James Winston is raw. Yep. Yeah, I always I picked him up in my uh, fantasy draft, actually. Wow. Steal. Smart. Telling you, if you guys want some fantasy advice, hit holler at me. On the Marcus comments. Mariota. Marcus Mariota. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Mariota's the QB. Ooh, they have Mariota from Oregon. The Raiders. The Raiders do. He's uh, he might be Bay Area. I'm not sure, but I know he went to Oregon. He played for the Oregon Ducks. Yeah, he went to Oregon. Um, mm -hmm. He's an Oregon. He was he's from Hawaii. He's from Hawaii. He's Hawaiian. Right. He probably got ties to the Bay, though. <laughs> of course. Everyone, of course. Everyone in Hawaii. <laughs> Type. Wrestling yeah. ties, football ties, yep. WWF ties. <laughs> Mariota had a nice run. Uh, yeah. Hey, how about the Raiders? Raiders looking decent too, man. Yeah, yeah. Good. I'm happy they won. I, I the whole I Bay on. Area. Oh, wait. The Raiders aren't from the Bay Area anymore. They're I from the forgot. Vegas. They're from Nevada. Oh, Did well. you hear the new Raiders song with Ice Cube and Two Short? <laughs> no. <laughs> they uh, I sent probably, you the link. Probably nice. It. No. I know That's you said cute. I didn't listen. I, like I didn't listen. I don't give yet. a shit. I like Cube. I like Cube. I like Two Short. Yeah. yeah. They're fucking. But they, Oakland you know, they, there is LA. Uh, Two Short is Bays. You get the Niners have a new um song, but I don't think it's on YouTube yet. It's kind of I don't know. They have like last year's song and the stuff. E forty. Yeah, be. yeah, E40, yeah, of course. Of course. Nice. Yeah, he takes the Giants and the uh, and the Niners side yeah, of the Warriors. Yeah, yeah, I mean, people always say like, "Oh, but I saw him wear a Raiders jersey," but that's just a Bay no, thing. He's that doesn't a mean fan. I I wear I wear like I, I wore like a US I have like USC jerseys. Doesn't mean I'm a USC fan. I just like yeah, sports yeah. attire. Got, you know, I got Oakland. I got I had a Howie Long jersey. You know. You got a Ho Chi Minh City Wings jersey, and that's not even our neighborhood. We're the Saigon Wings, but mm -hmm. I mean the Saigon Heat. But yeah, it's just a hat. Even though I like the Ho Chi Minh City Wings, well, I, I'm actually a City Wings fan, bro. Um, I'm in the. City I'm Wings still fan. in the in the middle of a uh, Heat and uh, Wings, but we're we'll get into that with uh, 
maybe some VBA players. The we first VBA Kong game I went to was a Ho Chi Minh City win game. Mm, yeah. Nice. Mine was a, a heat, a Saigon Heat game. Yeah, mine was City Wing. So yeah, Ooh. I'm a City Wing fan. Yeah, I'm I'm in the middle. Um, and me and you uh, coached a, a college team that beat the B team of the Ho Chi Minh City Wings. Also, mm-hmm. remember that? Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was awesome. They had big ass dudes, dude. They had hella big guys, like grown fucking buff dudes, but. They're just all big. None of them could really shoot the ball. They're just kind of like rebounders and uh, strong guys, bullies. But they had no shooters. That's why we won, I think. But they were bigger than us. Mm-hmm. Had a bigger team than us. Yeah. But we had us coaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Blah, blah. All right. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, I don't have it. my water. I forgot my water, so I can't do this for that long. I can go for... As want long as some? you want, but yeah. <laughs> Once is is there root beer in there? No. I'll only have it if it's root beer. <laughs> can't just can't just find root beer anywhere out here. Was that a Warriors cup, by the way? Yeah. Oh, show that off. That's dope. Nice. Where'd you get that? PBA free. What is that? PBO? PBA free? I don't know. <laughs> PBA is the, the Philippines Basketball League. Well, it's also like a <laughs> plastic thing. P- PBA. Did you wait after the Warriors game and just steal a bunch of cups? Nah, this that's is the, like that's the one move. You buy that's the, the best move, bro. You buy at the shop. BPA. That's the best BPA move. free. BPA ah, free. BPA. Nice. Yeah, that's why it's healthy. Cool. Root All beer. Right. Want some? That's a line from the awesome movie King of New York with Christopher Walken and and the guy from Matrix. What's his name? The guy from Matrix. I can't think of his name. Because <laughs> this isn't a movie show. It's a sports show. <laughs> so you forget every name of every movie star. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Write that in the comments. <laughs> Neo, I think, uh, or whatever. Oh, Morpheus, come on. Man. Morpheus, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, I'm not even... <laughs> I'm done. All I'm right. Done. Um, hang up the phone. <laughs> let's hang it up right there. Hang it up. Or I'm going to just start talking nonsense about movies and sports and mix it all up and get confused. <laughs> yeah, let's hang it up. Hang it up like that hat. You need to hang that hat up, too. I just wanted to bring something <laughs> funny to the to the... To the show today. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and I don't have a. Sh- I have my uh, teacher shirt today. My work that's, shirt. No, uh, no jersey. That's his teacher shirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm out of water. Let's sign off. All right. All right, everybody. Have a nice day. Two Congrats dudes who love sports. To the Giants for clinching. I'm the Wesley. All right, I'm Damien. Peace.